Welcome back to channel everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk about how you can quickly connect your copilot agent to your SharePoint list as a data source and query the result in real time. This is the new capabilities that has been added to copilot. Let's just talk about how we can leverage this. I'll go to new agent and I will describe my agent here that I want to query SharePoint list data with a different column in it and want to query tabular data based on different query. Your agent is not set up, so it is asking choose the name of your agent. It is suggesting SharePoint Data Query Assistant. So we'll say good for me. The agent name is now set to SharePoint Data Query Assistant. We'll go to the configure. It says SharePoint Data Query. We'll give it a complete name, go to the configure and just change the name here. It says we have exceeded the character limit. So that's why it was restricted to this. So that's all right. And uh, could you show me more detail about how you want the agents to help with querying SharePoint list data? For example, do you want it to support custom filter, export result or handle specific data type? I'll just say this. Okay, that's all right. And uh, would you like to add a publicly accessible website as a knowledge source for your agent? This step is optional. So what we will do, we'll go to the configure. And if we go to the knowledge here, if I click on add knowledge, there is a SharePoint option. There is a browse items. And if we go here, we do not have any options to select SharePoint list, but we have access to our SharePoint sites. If I go here, I can see the documents, but there is no list as such. So what we have to do, we have to close this out, leave it, and there is a web search option. I'll disable it because I don't need the web search. Suggested prompt looks okay to me. I'll just click on create the agent. Once the agent will be created, we have this knowledge options available here. Now go to the add knowledge. Here you have SharePoint option. Browse item again. Here now you'll see in the pick item you have my list and SharePoint list. My list is your typical uh, the list that you get the new list experience. If you create a list through that, that will appear here. Else your SharePoint site list will come up here into your recent item means the list that you have visited. So in my uh, com site, there is a financial sample list, which is this one. So I want to add this as a knowledge source, confirm the selection. It will give you the link name and the description. You can click on add to agent. Once this is added, you will see there is uh, in the knowledge, you will see there is a financial sample list, the type showing as a file, but it is a list actually and available to SharePoint data query agent. And there is last modified and there is a status. So status is in progress. That means in the back end, it is adding this list as a data source for our this copilot agent. So we'll wait for some time. So now as you can see the status is ready and we are good to test. I will go to my list here. You can see there is an ID column and uh, if I just want to check the unit sold for ID one, I'll go to my this agent and will say, please uh, tell me unit sold for ID hyphen one. Let's see what it uh, give us. 
it is asking to connect to SharePoint, which is an important step. It's asking me to allow the connection and it will check if I have the permissions to that uh, SharePoint list or not. If I do have, then it will give me the result else it won't. So the security layer is also covered here. Now you'll see it has given me the answer, but not the answer that I'm looking for. So let me ask it in a different way for ID equal to one. So now you'll see that it has given me the unit sold for column ID is equal to one as one six one eight. And if we match this, it has given me the correct. Now the one point you will see that uh, the previous question that I've asked is, uh, please tell the unit sold for ID hyphen one. Maybe it has not, uh, you know, understood that correctly. I've given the equal to this time. So maybe this could be the one part, but it has given me the correct result. Now let me do one thing. What I can do is I have country and then I have uh, what? for month as well. Okay, so what I'll do, I will apply a country filter here. So country is Canada. And there is 140. And if I go to the month of January, maybe sorry, January, then we have seven count, please give me unit sold for country Canada for January month only. So it has given us the generic answer again. So what we will do, we'll ask it more precisely now, units sold. I think it is the units sold, right? Units sold. Okay. Let's see. Now you'll see the units for uh, that is total one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The total count we had is seven and we have asked for the unit sold. So we asked the similar question. Yeah, we have just refined this little bit and it has given us the result correctly. There is, as you can see, you can match this and this is the correct result it has given me. So means you can train this, you can put a lot of things here. You have a lot of option into the Copilot studio. The idea was to just showcase you that how to connect your uh, SharePoint list with your agent and query real time data uh, that we are able to achieve. So uh, one more thing what we can do is into the ID. And if I just go into my agent here, what is the value in unit sold for column ID is equal to one and as given this answer 1618. If we go here, and if we change the unit sold to 1619, exit, this is updated. We copy this and paste it here. We'll see whether we get the real time data or not. There you go. We have the updated unit sold, which is 1619, which we updated here. So it's query the real time data from your SharePoint list. I hope this is helpful to you. And there is a lot of scope I see on this part. We can do a lot of automations with SharePoint list going forward with the agent. Try to connect this with uh, Power Automate Flow and do a lot of stuff. So stay tuned, we'll create more videos around this. If you need a detailed video on our Copilot Studio agent, let me know in the comment. I can create that for you. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching Learn and Tech.